lady and you're welcome back to another amazing video as you can see my background is different and guess what we're going for a farm evaluation so we're here in the city of Ogun right so come with me as we check out the farm and see what we can actually do We are here guys, this is the um, farm, we are here to evaluate and check what and what we can actually do to make this fish farm a success. You can't see a fish farm here but I can see one already so let's check what we can do and then give the right recommendations and then we proceed from there. So come along. <music> about the things you have to do because each farm is different and what applies to farm A may not apply to farm B so when you get to a farm site it's always very very important that you check the farm and look at those things that you want to work for the farm so for this farm we're going to what point out those things that are important or peculiar to this farm and then we go from there so one of the things you have to look out for or you have to do before starting your fish farm is what ensure it is secure so security is key and as you can see they spend this round and the fencing is still going on they are working on the back side of it. so that is very key because we don't want any issue of oh people come to your farm and then they take your fishes and at the end of the day you're running as a lot so security is to ensure you secure your farm before setting up at all so that's the key okay so as you can see um in front of some tall trees and these trees have their importance they have in fact significant importance because they serve as sheds and then the environment tends to be more cool when you have trees around and also your farm workers can always relax here when you have something like this so if you have a piece of land and then there are trees there please do not cut down all the trees because they have their own importance so these trees are located properly and they are good sheds and also good for aerating the farm you know there is breeze on the farm the fishes have enough oxygen to survive so that is key ensure you don't cut down all the trees on your farm site before setting up another thing you have to ensure is to check the water check your water parameters the ph the hardness nitrite level and so many other parameters that are very important so as you can see here i'm trying to check the ph of the water here so i'm using my ph solution and then from what i can see here already this water is very acidic and i have videos on how to buffer your water so you can check through the channel as you can see there is a stream here flowing please can you just pan the water it's flowing and looks amazing and also here there is azola this is azola azola is growing and this is a very good supplementary feed for catfish or tilapia so this is good they have something good here i'm happy about this so all i'm saying in a nutshell is get knowledge and get it right so as to save yourself a whole lot of troubles in the future after setting up your fish farm so we are done with the farm Accessibility to the market and so many other things. So, this is what we do, and 
if you also love me to visit your farm do certain assessment for you to actually tell if the fish farm being in that particular location is the best fit for you please contact me my email my whatsapp numbers and every other thing will be in the description box so that is what we do we are helping you get better at farming making it easier for you so thank you for watching to this very moment i mean your home girl your um farm fish farmer as always she came your lovely fish take care and i'll see you in my next video and wait before you go don't forget to hit that subscribe button like this video share to your family and friends and share to the world so that they know what we do and i'll see you guys next week bye